Right, let's move on to other stories making headlines. And the terror group Al-Shabaab has suffered massive losses in the last 24 hours, just as the U.S. President Barack Obama arrived in Kenya for what he confirmed would be serious talks about the war on terror in the East African region. As Ian Wafula reports, the Amazon forces say they have captured two very strong uh, holds of the Al-Shabaab in Somalia. Al-Shabaab suffered yet another blow when the African Union mission to Somalia, Amisom, captured the strategic town and capital of Gode, Bardare. This also enabled the Amisom and Somalia army troops to capture Dinsor, considered the main Al-Shabaab headquarters in Somalia. In the offensive dubbed Operation Juba Corridor, Amisom worked in collaboration with Ethiopian troops. The operation has been going on for a week. The Thursday morning clash saw seven Al-Shabaab fighters killed as others fled. Reports from the ground say that Dinsor was reduced to a ghost town as most residents fled to safety during the crossfire. Only the elderly are said to have stayed behind. <coughs> Barely a week ago, Kenyan troops had killed 24 Al-Shabaab terrorists in a battle near Baldari. For seven years, Al-Shabaab had occupied the town which is now under army some control. The Kenya Defense Forces say that these are the last kicks of a dying horse for the terror group as they have now been reduced to take refuge at Bansur, their headquarters. The Operation Juba Corridor is an offensive aimed at flashing insurgents out of rural areas in southern Somalia and which have involved Ethiopian and Kenyan forces. So far, 84 Al-Shabaab fighters have been killed in separate incidents. Visiting U.S. President Barack Obama has confirmed that a critical part of his agenda in Kenya and during his Tuesday visit to Ethiopia would be on collaboration to fight the terror group. Ian Wafula, KTN.